What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is a little something different on the channel. I'm doing an unboxing video. Reason why I wanna do this unboxing video is because one, I don't normally do it on the channel, so I'm trying a new type of content out here. Um, I've done the six sack unboxings, but not an unboxing of what I'm actually getting right now in March for my home lakes, for when I go out of town. This is the stuff that I'm gonna be putting in my boat to go fishing for basically for a while now. Um, I got a six cents order, I've got a line order, and then I've also got a sunglasses order. And hopefully this video, this unboxing, and why I'm getting what I'm getting will help you guys when it comes to purchasing your own stuff. So this first thing that I'm gonna be opening is my new pair of sunglasses. Now I do know what this is, but I wanna show you guys because one, it's something that I recommend you guys get. And two, there's a reason why I got this pair in particular. So these are the Waterland Fishing Optics Ashore Frames in the Golden Light Mirror. The reason why I got the Golden Light Mirror color is because it is good in low light conditions. Sometimes we're fishing and it's cloudy. Sometimes we're fishing and it's just not bright sun, but we still need those sunglasses. And that's where these ones come into play. These are also gonna be in the black water frame. It's got a, a darker base to it, but then it's also kinda of got like a camo look to the side. But this golden light mirror frame is gonna be helpful in those low light, low light situations, especially when we come upon the spot. Sometimes you're gonna to need to be able to see into the water when you're looking for those beds in those low light conditions. So this golden light mirror is gonna help me do that. If you guys want to try a pair of Waterland fishing optics for yourself, make sure to use discount code LUNA15. It's gonna save you 15% off anything on their website. They have a ton of different frame options, different lens color options. They have one specific to bed fishing. I like these ones for most of the situations on the water because it's a full frame here and then it cuts out a little bit of extra light because of the full frame on this side. They also have the bed fisher version which is designed for bed fishing. Those ones have a really big face to them and then a really full side they, side. they cut out a lot of light. But again guys, waterlandco.com, use discount code LUNA15, it's gonna save you 15% off. So the next unboxing that we're gonna do is my fishing line unboxing. Line is one of those things that's just not talked about enough, but it's one of the most important things when it comes to fishing. One, picking the right type of line for the right uh, technique that you're doing, and then the right size line to get you the most bites and the most fish in the boat. So the line that I'm gonna be opening right now is canine fishing line. For those of you guys that haven't heard of canine fishing line, they make um, a couple different types of line. They've got crappie braid, which is a really light braid. They've got crappie specific, monofilaments or uh, copolymers is the right answer for that. And then they also have, you know, your typical fluorocarbons and um, the copolymer is what they use for a lot of their um, reaction bait stuff. So what I wanna do is just pull out a couple of these different lines and tell you why I got the line. So first one is the Pro 100 and this is their 100% fluorocarbon and it's 12 pound test. 12 pound test is what I'm using in most of my dragging situations. If I'm dragging a jig, probably less than a half ounce or smaller, I'm gonna be using that 12 pound. If I'm gonna be just Texas rigging, just dragging a worm, probably gonna be using that 12 pound. If I'm gonna be using a free rig with just you know a typical 3 8 ounce weight or something like that, probably gonna be using that 12 pound. Now occasionally, I'll go down to a 10 pound, like the Pro 100 in the 10 pound, if I'm throwing that free rig or I need to do a really light Texas rig, um, there was a time where I was using a Jika rig a lot on 10 pound because it was helping me get more bites. Just that little bit lighter diameter can really help. Um, I also got some Pro 100 in the 18 pound and that one I'm gonna be probably putting on my Carolina rig setup. Just give me a little bit more uh, strength when I'm throwing that Carolina rig as I'm dragging it through all those rocks. I don't think it's going to affect everything because I'm still going to keep my main line a little bit lighter, but everywhere that rock and that sinker is going through all that rock is going to have that 18 pound. So I think it's going to really help, you know, not break off where that sinker is. So that's why I went with the 18 pound. And then another reason why I get the 10, which is the still the pro 100 in the 10 is because that 10 pound test is awesome on jerk baits and I've been fishing jerk baits a lot, lot more. So I wanted to make sure I stocked up on some 10. Now another line size that's really important for me 
is 15 pound. 15 pound test is my, has been my go-to on the Carolina rigs, and it's also been my go-to when it comes to a little bit heavier jigs, or when I'm throwing that half ounce and I can really get away with going up in line size. If I know I'm committing to a jig, I'm probably gonna throw it on 10 pound, or um, 15 pound test. Um, occasionally, I'll throw, you know, chatter baits on 100% fluorocarbon uh, with that 15 pound, because I just feel like, you know, you want a little bit stiffer line sometimes, especially if you're fishing around grass. Um, but yeah, 15 pound is definitely one that I like to have around. So the one other type of line that I really want to feature from K9 is this fluoro version. What this is, is a copolymer means it's a couple different line types put together. And this is what they recommend and I recommend when it comes to reaction baits. Right here is the 14 pound test. And what I'm using on the 14 pound test is going to be those reaction baits when it comes to uh, probably like a spinner bait, chatter bait, definitely I'm gonna be throwing, you know, that 14 pound or a little bit higher depending on the situation. But for most of your reaction bait fishing, other than I'd say crank baits and jerk baits, you're definitely gonna wanna go with like that 14 pound. Now, if you're using a deep diving crank bait, then I'd say you can definitely get away with that, get away with that 14 pound. But I like to stick with 12 pound test when it comes to most of my cranking, whether that's gonna be, um, you know, mid divers, or even sometimes deep divers if I need to get them extra deep. But if I'm throwing a spinner bait, if I'm throwing jack, uh, jackhammer chatter bait, I'm definitely going with 14 pound or higher when it comes to those reaction baits. Um, if I'm gonna go with this fluoro version for jerk baits, then I'm gonna bump it down to 10 as well. But typically I'm throwing 100% fluorocarbon when it comes to jerk bait fishing. This stuff is much more inexpensive than the Pro 100 is. And it's just something that I definitely think is more tuned for your reaction bait fishing. If you're dragging something and you need that really sensitive, stiff line that you get with the 100% fluorocarbon and the invisibility of the 100% fluorocarbon, I definitely recommend using the Pro 100 for like your jigs, your dragging baits, like a dragging a worm, something like that. I definitely recommend going with the Pro 100. But anything moving, save some money and go with this fluoro version of the canine fishing line if you go over to the website caninefishing.com make sure to use my discount code luna10 it's going to save you 10 percent off and um, i think you guys should give this stuff a try i've been using it for a long time and i'm really really happy with it okay so now we're going to get into the six cents stuff that i bought i am sponsored by six cents if you go to their website use discount code luna10 and it's going to save you 10 percent off all their products so as you can see guys i am promoting some products in this video but this is stuff that I'm actually using. I'm not just going out there and talking about a bait that I'm not gonna use. This is stuff that I'm putting in my boat, line that I'm using, tackle that I'm using, stuff that I'm ordering to use myself, whether that's in a tournament or just when I'm going out fishing. But this is stuff that I'm actually buying and using myself to go out there and catch fish and to create content for you guys. So like I said, use code LUNA10 in order to save 10% off at the Sixth Sense Fishing website. So if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but I do make a lot of my own tackle, make some of my own spinner baits, paint crank baits from time to time. So of course you're gonna need 3D lure eyes. This is also something that people may not realize that Sixth Sense offers. A lot of times I'm either using the dual molds attack lure eyes or the dual molds, they have a couple different versions, 3D lure eyes. And then they also have, I also use the Crush 3D lure eyes from Sixth Sense. Um, you just sometimes you need to replace eyes on crankbaits. Sixth Sense is a place that carries lure eyes like this to, to modify your stuff or to replace eyes that might have fallen off one of your favorite crankbaits. Just a little thing that I like to get from them from time to time. A couple other things that comes to making my own tackle is jig skirts what we have right here is chartreuse white flash and jungle craw these two different colors of jig skirts are by far the ones i'm buying the most my football jigs are jungle craw i would throw a couple different colors but jungle craw is by far my favorite color my spinner baits are chartreuse white flash i love those colors they make awesome spinner baits and awesome jig skirts man these colors just flat out get bit and um as you can see guys i'm stocking up on them i don't really want to talk about this next one but i'm going to because i want to be authentic to you guys but this color right here in the 2.7 electric shiner color from six cents this is the divine swim bay 2.7 the color is electric shiner 
This thing has caught me so many key fish in not only the US Open, but in my last tournament at Lake Havasu. Drop shotting this little bait on a 3 8 ounce head on steep banks caught me a lot of key fish that kept me in those events got helped me get into the top 10 going into the final day at lake havasu and helped me catch limits every single day at the us open when getting limits was really really tough this little tiny 2.7 inch swim bait on that drop shot is a killer so i needed to stock up on these because when that bite is going you could easily go through a pack of these in one day so i'm looking in here and i see a few different jerk baits and it's been a little bit since I ordered all these, so I don't remember exactly what's in there. I knew I had some jerk baits, but I couldn't remember exactly what I bought. But what we have in here is the matte minnow, Millikan's matte minnow color. This is like a matte shad kind of color in the 106 silent version. This is the non-deep diver. That's a great color, especially on the Great Lakes. If you're around the Great Lakes, this color will get bit. And then I got two of those. And then we have three of the 97s in the silent version. This one over here, the matte shad is a silent one as well. And this one is in the Millican ghost color. This is kind of like a pro blue. If you're used to that color, this is kind of imitating that color as well. This is just an all around great color jerk bait. And I wanted it in this 97 silent version because with all the pressure these fish are getting, getting some baits in that silent, um, non noise making version can really help you get a couple extra bites because they don't want to hear that rattle because they've been conditioned that when that thing rattles it, I get hooked. So sometimes if you have a non rattling version, they're not going to be as shy to that bait. There's other times where they want the rattle and it entices them. But once that pressure hits, a lot of times they're going to strike a bait with no rattles a little bit more often. So we got some more stuff in the box here. If you haven't gotten a pair of these shorts yet, guys, these are the sofa shorts in the blue color. I had to buy another pair because um, I was painting in the ones that I have before and got paint on them. So I just wanted to get a nice new pair. But these are super comfortable shorts, the sofa shorts. Um, they're just great to have around the house. Super comfortable. Um, I'd get a couple pairs because you're going to end up liking them and you're going to have a pair that are dirty and you need to wash them. So definitely try these out. If you let, if you just need it to go to bed in or whatever, lay around the house before going to bed, these sofa shorts are very, very comfortable. Um, I just saw in there a second ago, it looks like we got a couple different t-shirts in there. Not gonna bore you guys with t-shirts. You can guys can go on the website and see for yourself the six cents apparel, some of the best apparel in the game, in the fishing game. Um, you can wear that stuff on the water. You can wear it out to dinner with your family. I'm wearing Six Sense Waterland gear all the time. As you can see, Six Sense Fishing sweatshirt on right now, the Waterland hat. Between those two companies, that's a lot of what I'm wearing day in, day out, on and off the water. Um, they just make stuff that you can wear out and about. Not always do we want that big giant fish or a big bass on our shirt, and they have a lot of different options. Some of us really want the fish on our shirt. <laughs> kind of just goes down to personal preference, but they got a lot of different options over there. Just remember, Discount code for Waterland, Luna15. Discount code for Six Cents is Luna10. So guys, that is the stuff that I literally got to my house this past week. I think that if you guys go out and about and you're needing to buy that pair of sunglasses, needing to up your line game, needing to add some baits into your repertoire, um, those are some good ones to consider for yourself. Um, that electric shiner swim bait, be great on a drop shot around beds. A lot of times when those fish are on beds, they do not like those little swim baits around their bed because they think it's a bluegill trying to eat the eggs. Um, a lot of times if you're searching for beds, that jerk bait can be great. The jerk bait can also be great after the spawn's over because they think it might be a bluegill trying to eat that fry. So a lot of times when that fries around, you're gonna be able to catch those fry garters on a jerk bait. So those are key, key baits for this time of year. And then the apparel is just stuff I needed to stock my stock up on. Um, those sunglasses that I mentioned, those are going to be great for those earlier mornings, cloudy days, lower light days where you still need to be able to see in the water. So I needed to add that lens color to my repertoire of sunglasses. Um, that is the Assure version in the golden light mirror. And then, like I said, guys, the line is what separates a fish caught and a fish lost. Um, that canine fishing line has been good to me. I'm using it on my spinning setups with the braid to the floral leader. 
and then I'm using it on my reaction baits, and I'm also using it on my Carolina rigs, my dragging presentations, free rigs, Texas rigs, jigs, stuff like that, Carolina rigs. Um, definitely recommend the Canine Fishing Line. Um, go to their website and use my discount code LUNA10 there. Um, guys, I'm listing all this stuff in the description of today's video as well. So that way you can go down there, see exactly what I'm talking about in today's video. Go over to their websites and get it for yourself or at least check out the products that they have on their websites. Uh, but the fishing, canine fishing line, they have braid, they have fluoro, they have the 100% fluoro, and then they have the fluoro, which is their copolymer, but they do have good quality braid over there as well. I just didn't buy any for this particular order. So guys, if you guys want to see any more of my content, I'm going to put a playlist to some of my tournament fishing stuff, and then another just random fishing trip video on the screen. So if you want to watch more of my content, make sure to click on the screen, uh, the video that's on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.